because of my wrestling background, I often end up in top side mount. So I work a lot of combos from this position. One of my favorite combos is an arm bar Kimura combo. The first thing I have to do is establish weight on top. So oftentimes, I'm going to be here. You'll notice my hips are down to the mat with at least one leg back. You never want to be here because he can roll me. I want to have my weight on him. I can have both legs back or one knee up. For this move, I prefer the knee against the head to start trapping this arm. From there, I'm going to sit through and trap and then come over. Now, an important part of this move is this hand needs to cup under the armpit to the back of the shoulder. And from here, I'm going to get my elbow on his sternum and I'm going to crank it towards the center line of my body. So I've got him tight here. This arm has to be on this side. If he's over here, I can't do this move. I've got to force it here. He should be stuck from this point. What I'm going to try to do with this leg is step over his head. If he doesn't let me, I'm going to jam that to the mat and I'm going to come through. Now on this side, really important, this knee or this foot is on this side of his arm because I'm going to trap that later. I can grab in a Kimura grip, but from here, I really only need one hand at this point. Now I've got options. I can come up and Kimura him. I can wrist lock him. But my favorite thing to do is slide the foot here. From here, the back of the heels in the armpit, my weight's on his head, this knee comes up, and then I can fall backwards. From here, I can do a modified Americana or slide up for the armbar. Now a lot of people ask, what if he joins his hands? That's okay. He's not gonna be able to stop me from breaking it from that position. But the key to this whole move is having this foot in his armpit. Might he try to move and get out? He shouldn't be able to get out here. You can say I have a free hand, even a free leg, and he can't move. If I'm over on this side, here, all he has to do is push my foot and get your head under, and then he can come up and out. So it's really essential that when you're here and you notice, come over here, go lay, you'll notice here that I've already got this crossed over and trapped. Because if I'm here, when I step over, now I've got no leverage. So I want to be here so that I can trap or fall backwards. 